Hey guys, welcome back. Glass Moon Gaming, another music reaction for you today. And Sunday around his channel means more love bites. And this week I have two more of the series that I'm doing of before they were in love bites. Um, so I got a couple of videos to react to. Um, first up today, we're going to be looking at Miyako again and her band or the band she was in, 21 Grams um, or 21G. I don't know which one it is. Um, we listened to them once before and I really enjoyed it. It was a really fun song. Um, so we'll take another look. Besides, it has Miyako in it, so it must be good. Um, I'll be reacting to their song Tamashi no Uta. At least that's what I think it is, um, which I believe translates to Song of the Soul or something similar. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong on any of that. I certainly don't mind. Definitely Japanese is not my first language and I don't speak hardly any of it. So, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm fine with that. Uh, anyway, let's check this song out. Make sure you guys check out our Buy Me a Coffee page. It's like Patreon, but with more options. And that's where you'll find the original videos for anything that ended up blocked or edited for YouTube. It's also where you guys can make your requests. Uh, watch any concert streams you miss live on Twitch. Link is in the description with all the details. Finally, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave your suggestions in the comments below. Um, I have my new... YouTube handle down below my face right here. Don't know exactly how it's going to work, but I'm putting it up here so that it's out there. Apparently, it's going to be very similar to how it's used on Twitter and other things, but we'll find out as it gets released and as it gets rolling out. Anyway, every little bit helps our channel grow. Uh, supposedly, this handle thing is going to help channels grow even better. Um, we're going come, getting closer to 5,000. We've already surpassed 4,000. We're, we're chugging along and I love it. Anyway, let's get to this video. Link to the original will be in the description below. All right. 21 grams, 21 grams, 21 G. Here we go. 21 grams. All right, I guess it's grams. Fantastic. Yeah, that was fun. All right, already the the opening was, was really good. Um, I liked that that slow dramatic emotional opening and then boom come right in with it uh yeah it's great loving it so far don't understand the green mask but you know who knows i don't know All right, that was just a big change right there. I liked that. I don't know if that was a chorus or what that part was, but they like brought it down a little bit. And like, there's like, you can subtly hear like piano behind it or keyboard or something along with the guitar and the rest of the instruments. And there's obviously no piano here. Now, we know because we are familiar with Love Bites, obviously. 
um, that Miyako is an amazing piano player. So I'm wondering if for this recording, she also played that. That'd just be a cute little bit of information that would be handy to have that I'm sure someone has. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's go back. We just hit a key change, so I'm going to be curious to know what happens there. Wasn't expecting a key change so early in a song. Normally they come towards the end, but let's see what happens. <laughs> Miyako sounds great as always. Oh, oh, nice. There. Nice little piano in the background. Again, very interesting to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, musically, there's there's some elements of this that are musically to me interesting one i guess that is the chorus because it's happened twice the same exact way uh what's interesting is that normally in musical structure the chorus is the big shout it's the big boom this is the song this is the chorus and in this one the verses seem to be that and then we come down a little bit um for a little more mellowish it's not mellow but it's mellower compared to the verses. Um, and you have the underlying piano, which isn't in the rest of it. And it gives it a whole lighter feeling. And that's the chorus. So that's different. And then at the end of that chorus, it's like there's a key change, but I'm guessing it's not an actual change. I don't know how keys work because I'm a drummer. We don't have to deal with that stuff. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I know the general concept of it, but I don't know. I couldn't tell you what keys are doing. But I guess it also could just be a shift uh, and not an actual change because I don't recall it going back to the other key. Uh, it's the original key, and now we're hearing it again. So it obviously did at some point. It's just really interesting. I'm guessing it probably is more of a shift in something. But yeah, I mean, that's uh, to me a cool concept. Oh, here we go. You know what we do here? That was a great solo. She's she, one of the things she does great in Love Bites, obviously, we know, is the Eminem connection, Midori and Miyako. And they both shred like crazy, but also she is a phenomenal emotional. Uh, guitar soloist, and this is one of those examples where they're extended notes, not no shredding involved here, but you can you just feel the, the the solo, and I love that from her, and I love when she doesn't love bites, I love it here, I love it all the time. Let's hear it one more time because that's what we do here. Mm. 
Uh, one thing I will say, it was obviously done on purpose because I can't imagine why this would be on accident. But you, you can hear in the background um, a little bit of spoken word in there. No idea what he's actually saying because it's really low in the mix. But I'm guessing that I'm guessing it supposed to be that way. Like it's just supposed to be subtle. Not like I could understand him anyway because it's in Japanese. But you get my point. And I like that little oh. oh, oh, oh throughout the back it's really it ties it all together and it gives it a great place so that if you're playing live like i've said in other songs before if you're playing live you can sing right along it's a great crowd interaction part That was a pretty cool picture with uh with her eyes right there. I think I'm gonna have to change the uh the, the uh, thumbnail to this because that is really cool. That's a really cool picture. Interesting transition there. All right, that was really, really fun. Let's talk about it. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot in that song that was, to me, musically interesting. Um, the song itself was a fantastic song. Really catchy. Uh, really good moments of, if they were playing it live, like I said, crowd interaction. Where you can have there, um, you can break it down and just let the crowd continue. Uh, but like I said, or I said it earlier, so I'm not going to go into it a lot here. Uh, to me, a lot of the interesting things were the chorus, in the beginning at least, was... Uh, was was the drop down section was the more mellow part than the rest of it and to me that's an interesting packed of a song because that's not what you're expecting um and also uh that that key shift was an interesting aspect again because normally shifts and changes happen towards the end of the song to emphasize the end and it happened twice so that was cool that was an interesting moment to me yeah Really love the song. I really love the song. Miyako's solo was great during it. Wouldn't expect anything else. Yeah, great, great, great song. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed looking at who they were before. You know, they are who we know them now. That's great. And this wasn't even really before that. It was kind of simultaneously at the same time. In the very beginning, anyway. Yeah, loved it. Can't wait to do more. Uh, don't forget, I also stream on Twitch. So if you are one who enjoys uh, live concerts, um, or gaming, you know, feel free to join me over there on Twitch. We have a good time whenever we do, whatever we do. We just watched the warning yesterday, had a blast. Um, yeah, all my social media information is in the description below. Go ahead and take a look. Um, Alti Energy, great alternative energy drink, zero sugar, low calories, all natural caffeine, no crash. Um, amazing flavors. If it's something you're interested in, there is a link. By all means, go check it out. Um, use discount code GLASSMOON at your checkout. You'll get 10% off. It's fantastic. A link is in the description again if you're interested. Don't forget, vote in our Fan Choice Friday poll where you guys decide what I react to every single Friday. Very simple. Go to the community tab, find the poll, vote for the band. Whoever wins, that's what I'm going to react to. It's a guaranteed thing. So just go and vote. Very simple. Can't be any easier. Uh, so with that, I hope everyone has a great day, and I will catch you all next time.